Hi, I'm Cecilia from the Center for Enhancement of Teaching and Learning at the University of Hong Kong (HKU). Today, we have Dr. Alex Webb from the Faculty of Science. He will share with us his journey on how a term paper becomes a famous Wikipedia page. Let's go! Hello, my name is Alex Webb. I'm a associate professor in Earth Sciences at the University of Hong Kong. Well, let's meet Dr. Alex Webb. Like you, he's a teacher. And like you, Alex is looking for better ways to enhance student learning. Sometimes he's frustrated with the conventional way of teaching. For example, the term paper assessment just frustrates Alex. But some term paper really do not enhance student learning. Most term papers are terrible, just tragic pieces of work. And in an attempt to address the problem of the term paper, Alex decided to replace the term paper by asking students to create a Wikipedia article. Before we look at how Alex utilized Wikipedia, let's find out more about it. According to the Wikipedia website, Wikipedia is a multilingual online encyclopedia created and maintained as an open collaboration project by a community of volunteers. Let's look at some facts about Wikipedia. It is free. There are no commercial ads. Wikipedia is funded by donations. Wikipedia users are all over the world, and pages are in 309 languages. It is one of the most popular websites in the world. In 2006, the Time magazine stated that the open door policy of allowing anyone to edit had made Wikipedia the biggest and possibly the best encyclopedia in the world. Time magazine honored Wikipedia editors, meaning anyone in the world with their Person of the Year title. But of course, there have been some serious criticism. Wikipedia have been criticized for exhibiting systematic bias, for presenting a mixture of truth, half-truth, and some falsehoods. And Edwin Black, an American journalist, called Wikipedia the tumbling down of world knowledge archived. But could you really imagine a world without free knowledge? Well, in January 18, 2012, Wikipedia blacked out their site for 24 hours in order to protest against the United States Congress to stop online privacy acts. Well, with all these mixed feelings on Wikipedia, how does Alex turn Wikipedia into a useful replacement of a term paper which worth a lot of marks? What will be the benefits? Let's see what he has to say. In an attempt to address this, um, with some inspiration from former colleagues, I decided to, rather than assign a term paper, I assign the creation of a Wikipedia article. So I know that Wikipedia is the enemy in so much of academia. We want our students to go to original sources and instead they go to Wikipedia. But when these students are in fact creating Wikipedia pages, uh, the enemy can become your ally. Um, because Wikipedia requires citation practices that are not too far off of professional journals. Uh, and the students don't really have experience with that. Uh, Wikipedia requires a certain level of professionalism that the students are not likely to put into a term paper uh, because the term paper has an audience of one, it's you. Whereas Wikipedia has a global online audience and they can show it to their parents, they can show it to their friends. Um, so there's a different motivation to do quality work. That said, it requires a fair amount more guidance and help uh, because you want the whole class to make quality work. Alex and his students have already created over 126 Wikipedia articles. Let's have a look at some of their work. You know, it just won't work for those students that are straggling to turn in something that's really not up to scruff because it's going to be online. So everybody wants a fair amount of help and they're going to need it. Alex Wikipedia is a high-stick project. 
so the timeline is going to be tight. Let's have a look at how he managed to schedule. In the first two weeks, Xuan is expected to have the title selected. And in early in the semester, a draft will be required. In the middle of the semester, another draft, but this time worth more than a final exam, will be expected. Then there will be feedback session. Each student is assigned to give three peer feedback, and Alex will also give his feedback. A month later, the student will present the pages live, and there will be another feedback session similar as before. Finally, it will take Wikipedia to activate the pages live in a month's time. And we spend a class session discussing what makes a good Wikipedia page in their view, uh, and we use that discussion in order to make a rubric uh, wherein the students decide how they want their eventual Wikipedia page to be graded. Uh, we teach them how to use vector graphics software so that they can make their own images uh, for the Wikipedia page. Uh, we're a geology class, so imagery is very important for us. Um, so vector software includes Adobe Illustrator. Uh, we tend to use Inkscape because it's uh, online freeware. Well, feel free to contact Alex or I for more information. Thank you. Bye. If you want to find more information about teaching and learning at Hong Kong U, you can go directly to this link here. It is our newly developed TEL at HKU website. You can also find many resources in our CETL website, such as assessment, experiential learning, community practice, and so forth.